guys welcome to wisdom academy youtube channel today we are going to see types of function the first and most important function is one on one function so this one on one function we will also known as injective function we can also say this function as injective function if the image of the distinct image of x under f or distinct that is i will have for one image only one pre image will be there or other words for one i will have unique image okay unique image and unique pre image will be there that is if i draw as an arrow diagram i will get only one line for one element so no no range is allocated to any two domain so that is known as one on one function okay this we can take it as an example of uh, call if i am having a phone number and i am having three contacts or four contacts or n number of contacts at a time i can have only one call to a person right that is if i am calling to a person a okay at a time that is for uh, 7 o'clock for 7 o'clock i can call to only one person in the same call okay so this is called a yeah, example for a one on one function and next what we are going to see is many to one function so in this many to one function what we can have is a yeah, each um, pre images or co domains will have n number of inputs so we can take an example of flames we can go into a multiplex to see a flame in the three flames may be running but there are seven people went to see the flames they may choose the flame between three right so each may choose two or three people may choose a single flame that is possible that is not as it is many to one so many people are taking a yeah, single flame that is example for many to one function so this is known as many to one function so the function which is not one to one function will be a yeah, obvious of many to one function okay so next what we are going to see is on to function this on to function in other name we will call it as surjective function okay the function which am i co domain and my range is equal then i will say it as on to function so this is domain and this is my co domain in co domain there will be no element without associated in association of domain so there is no any other element so i will call it as on to function in other words i will say it as surjective function for this we can take roll number and number of students in a class if i have 40 as a roll number and 40 members are there in the class nobody can have same roll number two people can have, cannot have two same roll number right or same roll number cannot be allocated to two persons so this is not possible so roll number and the number of people in the class we can say it as an example for on to function okay so like this there are some that we can also call it as surjective function okay so we can easily say my co domain and my range elements will be equal so this is known as on to function so next what we are going to see is into function it's an opposite of uh, on to function here there will be something which is remaining which is not brought so here i am taking a customer and product as an example so there are three customers coming to the showroom and buying the products uh, one going for television and another gone for washing machine and another one gone for uh, water heater uh, maybe the some season is uh, not summer or it's winter so they are not selecting the air conditioner by them okay so people are not selecting the air conditioner which is left on the type and the product list so here my products are there and one my one of the product is not associated with any customer so i can say this as an into function so into function in in other way i can say my range will be there inside the co domain okay so there will be some extra elements which is not associated in the co domain so this is known as on to function so after on to function we have a step with bijective function that is if a function is one on one or one to one and on to function then i will say it as an bijective function so if i take an on to function so this is on to function right no, no remaining things are there and only one to one function are there right each one is getting only one so this function i will take it as a bijective function by means to by you already you know that by by by, by means two bijective means here we have two function to collect together so i will say it as bijective function okay the function which uh, clarifies or which uh, passes the test of one on one one to one function and on to function is known as bijective function okay 
So these are the important types of the function. So up to now we have seen uh, four uh, functions that is on to, into and one to one and many to one and together of on to function and uh, one to one function we know, we know it as a bijective function. Now we can see an example. In this example it shows that function f natural number this this symbol stands for natural number to the natural number so set a is natural number and set b is natural number given by f of x is equal to 2x is 1 to 1 but not on to we know that yeah it is going to be 1 to 1 why because my 2x is there in for x if i substitute any natural number at last i will also get answer as a natural number only right even suppose i am putting natural number 2 that is 2 into 5 2 5s are I will get 10. 10 is also automatically a natural number. So it is also B in the set B. Okay. So I will take this as an what is this? Some one to one function. So I can't able to get any 10 by putting any other number uh, rather than 5. Right. I can't able to get any other uh, uh, x value for 10. So I can say it as one to one function. But it is not on to. Why it is not on to is if I take like this for example. If I am taking 1 as an example, okay. so if I am putting uh, 2 x equal to 1, if I am putting like that, my x value is 1 by 2, right? x value is 1 by 2. My 1 by 2 is not a natural number, okay. it is not a natural number. Why I am putting 2 x is equal to 1 is, I want to get 1 as an output, 1 is a natural number, obviously 1 is a natural number, to get 1 as an answer. What I will do? What value can be put for x? x should be 1 by 2. But 1 by 2 is not a natural number. Okay, It is not an element of natural number. So what I can do? I can say that it is definitely a 1 to 1 function but not a on to function. Because here if I draw a arrow diagram for this, what I will have is, I will have like this. Okay, So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 keep on going. Why? Because it is everything is natural number here because it shows that natural number to natural number so it is also natural number so set a and set b here so i am putting 1 2 3 4 5 here so 1 associated with 2 2 associated with 4 and 3 associated with 6 like this it will keep on going on now i will say this as an one on one function if it is an on to function so there should be no remaining in the set b but 3 is there 1 is there to get 1 as an answer, I have to put here 1 by 2, which is not a natural number, which is not there in the list itself. So it is not possible. Similarly, if I want to put, if I want to get 3 as an answer, here I have to put 1.5. Once again, 1.5 is not a natural number. So it is not on to function, but definitely one to one function. Right? So this is where the sums can be asked to you. So by seeing and analyzing, you want to say what type of function it is. Okay. So next what we are going to see is composite function. So composite of composition of a function is an operation. It's, it's usually known as function of function. Uh, I let, let me take an example. Uh, you are writing a board exam, right? You are writing a board exam. For board exam in a hall ticket, you are given one hall number, hall ticket number, right? We will say it as a register number commonly. So you will have your register number and this register number will be written, not name will be written. Register number will be written in your board exam question paper. But while teachers are correcting that paper, this register's number will be taken out and they will be giving one dummy number. This number will say it as dummy number because that number will be removed after correction. This dummy number will be related to this register number. Okay, Listen carefully here. The register number is given to you. That is one function. Let, let me take it as an f of x. Okay, g of x I am taking. So your register number will be taken as g of x. So I will give your name, if some name, name, some x, y, z I am giving, it will give them number, some 1, 2, 3 like that. Okay. Now I have an output like this. So you will write that and I will remove that register number and I will put dummy number. And for this I will write another function called f of x. Okay. For f of x, I will not assign to your name as an input, I will assign this register number as an input. Right. For I, if I have 1, 2, 3, 4 is a register number, for this using my another function i will change to 4 3 2 1 okay what i am done this is one way of forming a dummy number now this dummy number will be there in the answer script after once again correcting 
this dummy number will be changed to register number that is by taking the inverse of this I, that is if i give 4321 then it, it has to be 1234 that kind i have another register that is called inverse of the function after taking that inverse of the function we will take once again you will get your name right that is if i am having a name of xyz i am getting a register number that is one function and using register number register number also by register number i can able to get your name so what people will do they will change the number to dummy number that dummy number will be another function so here one function is used to get register number and here one of the function is used to get dummy number once again after everything is finished this dummy number will be given to g inverse of x to get the register number and from register number once again i will get f inverse of x to get the x y z this is known as composition of a function okay so in many many places we are using this functions so one of the important operations in the functions so how we are going to deal with this that is if i am having a x as an uh, input for one function after this it will become f of x and i will have an g of x i will i will apply to a g as the function and i will apply this f of x as an input to get g of f of x okay this one directly i can say it as g o of f that is g o of f okay so this is called composition of a function okay so next what we are going to see is example using a composition of a function why here they given f of 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 is associated with 3 comma 4 4 comma 5 comma 9 this is f input if i give f as an 2 as an input i will get 3 and 3 as an input i will get 4 and 4 as an input i will get 5 and 5 as an input i will get 9 similarly here i am giving in g of x that is g as an another function which has 3 as an input 4, 5, 9 as an input and I will get output as 7, 11 and 15. Okay. And it is defined by f of 2 is equal to 3, f of 3 is equal to 4 and f of 4 is equal to f of 5. Okay. So, this is the function. Let us see this example. Let us see this example. Let f is equal to, they are given two functions, f and g and the function is defined by f of 2 is 3 and f of 3 is 4 and f of 4 is f of 4 and f of 5 is 5 and f g of 3 is 4 g of 4 is 7 and g of 5 and g of 9 is 11 they asked to find g o of f so what we can do is g o f of 2 means g of f of 2 that is if i write g o f of x can be written as g of f of x so this is the meaning of this indication so what i can do is instead of f of x here 2 is there so i will make g of f of 2 which is equal to g into 3 because f of 2 what is g f of 2 is 3 so i will apply 3 here so g of 3 will become what is g of 3 here i can go to this, this thing and we can say g of 3 is value is 7 so i will write 7 as an answer similarly g o f of 3 what i will do g of f of 3 f of 3 value is 4 so I will put value of g of 4 is equal to, I will search what is the value of g of 4, it is 7. Similarly I will do, I will continue, I will get the answer. So this is where we can find g o f. Similarly if it is f of o, g is asked, similar thing can be done. What he has to do? f of g of x is equal to, that is if I am finding f of 3, then what I will do? f of g of 3, then so g of 3, what is g of 3, I will go and see. My g of 3 I will search, it is 7. So, f of 7, I will put and I will get what is the answer of g f of 7 that will be written, I will write. So, this is the way we want to use the composition of a function. So, next what we are going to see is invertible of the function. What is invertible of the function? Already when I am teaching the composition of function, I told that we can take inverse of the function to get back my original thing. If I am having, I am giving in f of x, I am giving 1 as an input and I am getting 10 as an answer after f of x that is f of 1 is equal to 10 then if i am putting f inverse of 10 it should give 1 as an answer so this is called inverse so this function is known as invertible so as a definition what they told us a function f if x, x, x belongs to y is defined as invertible if there is an excess function y belongs to x this kind of function i will call it as invertible of function that is that function as inverse 
not all the function will have inverse there are only some functions will have inverse if such a inverse functions will have identity element of x and identity element of y we can see this in next uh, slide that is uh, what is and how to find is so what an example is they are say it's a real number this symbol is for real number so it is defined as real number to real number is defined by f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 what we have to prove is first one is bijection and it's inverse so we know what is bijection is bijection means we want to prove it is one on one function and on to function right on to function what we have to prove for bijection what it is inverse I am I am uh, concentrating about here more now. So I am taking y is equal to 2x plus 3. If my y is equal to 2x plus 3 and what will be my x? I am making the arrangement here. x I will keep here. Other elements I will send there and it will make into x is equal to y plus 3 by 2. Then I will keep this as in g of y. And what is given is f of x and I am having g of y. So now what I will do? I will put g of f of x. That is my g of f what is my g of f is i will take and i will get the answer of x right i am substituting 2x minus 3 where my g of x has to be separated so here y is there instead of y i will put 2x plus 3 so i got an answer of x which is known as ix identity element of x and similarly here f, f dot of g what i will do in this function i will as an input i will give this as an input okay so i will give as an that as an input i got y as an element output that is my i y so g of f is equal to i x and f of g is equal to i y this is what it is inverse is available so inverse is yeah it is available it's inverse is available that is, is invertible we can say in other words okay bijection function yeah of course it should be a one on one function why it is a one on one function it is a real since it is a real number it includes all the things so whatever number i put i will get unique value right so 2x plus minus 3 i can't get same answer for two different numbers okay so each value will have the unique answer unique answer i will get if i put 1 2 minus 1 minus 1 i will get if i put 2 i will get 1 so like likewise my x value is real and my output value is also real so it is not going to be unaffected and each one value is going to be one for all the real number i'm going to have real number as an output no because real number includes everything so all the real numbers since there is no chance of square also if i say square then i can also go for another complex number or something here no possibility for that things so i can say this as real number to real number so all the real number input will have real number output so no need to worry about there is no chance of being on to function on one to one function so it is going to be a bijection only so this kind of sums can be asked in your exams so what we saw today what we saw today is types of function so first type of function what we saw is one to one function then we saw many to one function and we saw on to function into function and bijective function bijective function means the function with which satisfy both on to function and one to one function then we saw composition of function then we saw inverse of the function that is functions invertible so by this i am finishing this video please be practicing the sums thank you